What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to some more Pokemon Violet. And, as you can see, we are here once again, uh, attempting to capture the last of the two new paradoxes we need. We actually need Walking Wake. We did catch Iron Leaves in the previous episode. Uh, so now Walking Wake is our main priority, our main target. The cooler of the bunch anyway, if I do say so myself. Uh, and like I said last episode, we actually have, I had two Pokemon planned out for these terror raids. Uh, again, for Iron Leaves, it was uh, Shredder or King Gambit, uh, just because of the dark typing, and because Iron Leaves didn't have fighting moves, it worked out for us. Uh, but, for Walking Wake, we're actually using our Claude Sire <laughs> once again. Which, I know. I, yeah, I know. Claude Sire again. But, Claude Sire just has so much utility for water type raids, especially being immune to a Terra water Pokemon. So, when we do end up getting the Walking Wake Terra raid, uh, we'll be right back with that. So, I'll see you all shortly. Okay, so we're back again. So, we fi finally found a... Uh, whatchamacallit. We finally found a Walking Wake Terra Raid. Finally. <laughs> you can obviously tell which one is the better one because the, the Walking Wake Terra Raid is so annoying to trying to come across. Uh, but we do see right now our squad consists of an Iron Hands, my Claude Sire, and someone's Coridon, which I don't know why in God's fucking name you would bring Coridon to a water terror raid especially when if you didn't know this thing is water dragon so it's gonna have draco meteor it's gonna have fucking hurricane it's gonna have its signature move boiling steam or whatever hydro steam but i'm gonna try and boost our hariyama iron hands as much as we can with helping hand so let's see what ends up happening here we also did see we have a Toxtricity with us, which, I mean, you know. <laughs> Is that a shiny Iron Hands? No. <clears throat> oh good, activate its Protosynthesis, increase its special attack stat, epic. Okay, uh, I think for the sake of, I was gonna say, because I know that thing's gonna use Belly Drum, so I'm gonna use, uh, Amnesia, boost my special defense. And then we'll use Helping Hands, or, yeah, we'll use Helping Hand on our Iron Hands. God damn! Okay, so our Toxtricity is down. Shocker. Collision course. See, it's fine too if it uses Noble Roar on us, because that doesn't really... that doesn't do shit to us. Okay, we're gonna keep using... I'm gonna keep using Helping Hand. We still have our plus two special defense with Amnesia. Alright, go get him. Thunder Punch. Drain Punch, sure, that works. We just need to keep boosting him. I don't know why he's not using Thunder Punch, but... You know, it is what it is. And our Water Absorb kicks in. Give him a boost. And 
And this thing's shield's about to break too, so that's good for us. Another drain punch from Iron Hand should take it take it out of its thing. Oh yeah, eating it up. Alright, I'm gonna boost Toxtricity. Oh. Terror fighting. Alright, interesting. Wow. Game's frozen. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. All right. Um, what do we... Put you in a dive ball, yeah? Or a lure ball? I think a lure ball would be sick. Kind of matches the color scheme. Plus, to be fair, I don't actually know what I'm going to use those, like, the apricot balls, so fuck it. Use it while I have it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sweet. And with that, we got ourselves the walking wake. It's a nice little goodies as well. So now that we have, now that we actually have Walking Wake, let's uh, let's take a gander. Let's take, let's peep our new our new Walking Wake. Look at that. So not only do we have Iron Leaves, but we also got Walking Wake. This thing is sick. Water Dragon with a Terra Water type, Hydro Steam, Dragon Pulse, Noble Roar, and Flamethrower. Well, what is Hydro Steam, you ask? The user blasts the target with boiling hot water. This move's power is not lowered in harsh sunlight, but rather boosted by 50%. So it's pretty much like a uh, side blade for iron leaves, but instead of in the electric terrain, it's in the sunlight, which is super cool. Which is super crazy to think about too. So you can honestly, so you can actually run flamethrower and hydro steam and like make use out of that. And so yeah, that's that's pretty much all there really is to this, you guys. Uh, do you remember though? I did mention it in the last episode, but as we're recording this this episode, uh, March first, uh, you have about at least from me. I don't know when this will be uploaded, uh, but the event runs until I think March thirteenth. So you have until March thirteenth to get both of these guys. Um, and then if you didn't get your, if you already bought the DLC, make sure to use your email to get yourself your Hyzuian Zoroark. Uh, has the Terra Dark type with, uh, Happy Hour and its other moves. And then make sure to grab your, uh, outfits, your seasonal outfits in the downloadable content spot right here on the main menu. But yeah, that is all you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, of course, don't f remember, as soon as we get any more Pokemon news, or more events, or etc, etc, you better believe you will see me there. So, as always, you guys, thank you all so much for watching, and as usual, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.